All right, I'm going to work my way through the practice uh, quiz, and uh, this is for the test on Monday. All right, the first few problems, I'll probably go into a little more detail uh, about explaining them, just so I can remind you if you've forgotten. But um, as the as I work my way through these problems, I'm going to pick up a little bit of speed. As always, I would suggest that you try to do the problem on your own by pausing it. And then if you get stuck, then go ahead and hit play and check it against my answers. All right. This first problem is straight multiplication. I want to kind of elaborate on this one a little bit. All right. 2x squared. Let's talk about what that is. That's 2 times x times x. All right. I'm going to multiply that by 3x cubed. That's 3 times x times x times x. All right. If I spread it out like that, now you can actually see what we're working with here. I can multiply the numbers, the coefficients. 2 times 3 gives me 6. And the x's. x times x times x times x times x is going to be x to the fifth. All right. So just looking at the at the initial problem, 2 times 3 is 6. X, I add the two exponents, and it's the fifth. All right? Just two different ways of thinking about this first problem. Problem number two, pretty similar. Actually, the first four problems are all pretty similar. <clears throat> I've got 3p squared times 3p cubed. I take care of my coefficients first. 3 times 3 is going to be 9. Now I'm going to take care of my p's. All I have to do is add the exponents. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Number three, got a little something different here. We've got x cubed times uh, 2x cubed times 3x. All right. If x is by itself, it is cons it's x to the first. All right. So multiplying the coefficients, 2 times 3 is 6. My x's, I've got x cubed times x to the first. There's x cubed times x to the first, or I can just add the exponents, it's going to be x to the fourth. Number four, taking care, I got 3n times 2n squared. All right, multiplying the coefficients, I get a 6. 3 times 2 is 6. Remembering that n is n to the first. I add the exponents, n to the first times n to the second gives me n to the third n cubed, and I'm done. All right, number five. I want to spend a little more time on this one. Um, this is something inside the parentheses squared. All right, I've got exponents on the inside of the parentheses, and I've got exponents on the outside of the parentheses. So I'm going to show you the rules for this then actually show you what's going on inside there. So, the one thing you have to remember is that this squared applies to the threes and applies to the x cubes. All right? So, 3 squared is going to give me 9 x cubed squared is going to give me x to the sixth. When the exponent's on the outside of the parentheses, I multiply instead of add like the other problems. All right? So I want you to think of this problem like this. 3x cubed squared means 3x cubed times... 3x cubed. That's what a square is. Anything times itself. Now, I use the principles that we've used before. 
3 times 3 times 3 is 9. Then I've got x, which is x cubed times x cubed. In this case, we add the exponents. We get x to the 6. So that's just two different ways to look at it. For the test, use this method here. But I just want you to understand what's going on behind it by looking at this second problem here. All right, we're on number six. All right, I've got three uv squared inside of parentheses, and all of that is cubed. So I want you to remember that the cubed, the power of three, applies to the three, it applies to the u, and it applies, applies to the v squared. All right, three cubed, three to the third power, is three times three, which is nine, times three, which is 27. U to the first cubed means you multiply the two exponents, three times one, you get U cubed. Then finally, V squared cubed is V two times three to the sixth. Number seven, 2b a squared, in parentheses, all of that squared. All right, let's just jump straight into it. Two, the coefficient out front, 2 squared is 4. b squared is b squared. And a squared squared is a to the fourth. All right, number nine, we get into a little bit of division. So I'm going to go to a little more uh, explanation on this one. All right, I'm going to expand this. It makes it a little bit easier to see. All right, on top we have two times x cubed. x times x times x times y times y, y squared. That's just the two x cubed y squared expanded. On the bottom, I've got 2x. All right. All I really need to do with this is just cancel now. The 2's cancel out. The x's cancel out. And I'm left with x times x, which is x squared, y times y, which is y squared. All right. You could have probably did it. Let me do some erasing here. You could have did it with the original problem, just canceling out the twos and knowing that this X on the bottom cancels out with one of the X's on top and it just becomes X squared. So that would have left you x squared, y squared. All right, number 10. There will be a problem like this on a test. I was a little bit surprised walking around the class on Wednesday when we were working on this practice quiz, how many people got this wrong. Um, obviously, you see, we got 4a over 4a, which means 4a divided by 4a. The 4's cancel, the A's cancel. I had people putting equals zero. That is so wrong, all right? Anything over itself, anything divided by itself is one. Think about it. 10 divided by 10 equals one. You know, one million over one million. One million divided by one million equals one. So anytime you see something, even if it cancels out like this, just because it cancels doesn't mean it goes away and becomes zero. It becomes one over one or one. So anything divided by itself is one. All right, we're on the back side of the paper now. I'm going to be moving a little bit quicker, but the problems get a little bit more complicated. All right, we've got 4x to the fourth, y to the fourth, divided by or over top of 4x to the second, y to the second. 
So first thing on this problem I hope you see is these fours cancel out. All right. All we have to deal with is the x's and y's. x to the fourth divided by x to the second. We subtract exponents. We get x to the second. 4 minus 2 is 2, so it would be x to the second. Same thing with the y's. We've got y to the fourth over y to the second. Subtract the exponents. We get y to the second. All right, for number 12, we've got another one of those problems. I didn't know I put two on this sheet. Um, something over top of itself. We've got u to the fourth divided by u to the fourth. All right, I hope this takes you about like one millisecond to complete this. You know anything divided by itself is going to be one. Number 13. Not a lot going on in this problem. We got three times y times x to the fourth over top of 4y. There's only one thing that goes on in this problem, all right? The threes and the fours, the three over the four, that stays the same. There's no way that reduces, simplifies, cancels, nothing happens to that, all right? Also, x to the fourth, there's no x, other x's in the denominator or the numerator. That just comes over. The only thing that happens in this problem is the y's cancel out, and your whole answer is 3x to the fourth over top of 4. All right, we're up to number 14, another division problem. Uh, actually, the rest of the sheet's division problems. All right, on this one, there's only one thing that happens. We've got y to the second divided by 4x times y to the second. All right, the only thing that happens in this problem is these y squares cancel out, all right? So, everything on top canceled out. That does not mean it's zero. That means the one thing that's left up there is it is a one. On the bottom, right, what was left was 4x. That's it. Number 15, this problem is almost identical to number 14, all right? I got y cubed over top of x squared y cubed, all right? I'm going to just kind of elaborate on this a little bit. This is y times y times y on the top front top, and x times x times y times y times y on the bottom. And I hope you see that all the y's cancel out. Okay, on top, again, it's not zero. You're left with a one on top and x squared on the bottom. All right, 16 through 20, the last five problems are a little complicated, so let's go through these kind of slow. All right, on top, I've got the exponent outside the parentheses. So that exponent is going to apply to all three things on the inside, the two, the m and the n to the fourth. So 2 to the fourth is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. This is m to the first. So since the x 4 is the exponent on the outside of the parentheses, I multiply and I get 4 times 1, m to the fourth. And n to the fourth to the fourth, multiply the exponents, we get n to the 16th. All right, we're kind of combining things on the bottom. Uh, they've got it jumbled up. m squared times n to the fourth times m squared times m to the third. All right, we can combine these. Let's do our m's first. m squared times m squared. These aren't in parentheses. We don't multiply. We add 2 plus 2 equals m to the fourth. All right. Oh, I've made a little bit of a mistake, but at least I caught it in time. Race. This is supposed to be an N. So now, all right, now I'm combining my N's. N to the fourth times N to the third. Add the exponents. It gives me N to the seventh. Now let's just clean this up. 16, M to the fourth. These cancel out, all right? So they're gone. Then I've got n to the 16th, n to the 7th. I subtract exponents, 
and it gives me n to the ninth. All right, when you all view these uh, videos, you all get to see the edited version. All right, if I screw up, I go back and do it over again. This is the fourth time I've did this. Each time I've either screwed up what I've done or screwed up what I've said. So let's hope I get it right this time. All right, number 17. Inside the parentheses, I've got 2a cubed b to the fourth, all of that squared. Let's take care of that first. 2 squared is 4. A cubed squared is going to be A to the sixth. Then B to the fourth squared is going to be B to the eighth. I'm going to bring over my denominator and then clean it up. 4 divided by 2 is 2. A to the sixth divided by A squared. So I Subtract exponents and I get 4. And then b to the 8th divided by b, b squared is going to be b, 8 minus 2, is going to be 6. All right, I finally got it right that time. All right, number 18. All right, we've got a lot of stuff on top. We've got 2m to the 4th n squared all of that squared over n. All right, the first thing we have to do <clears throat> is take care of this square on the top. So bring my line over. 2 squared is 4. m to the 4 squared is m to the 8th. n squared squared is going to be n to the 4th. All of this over n. All right, all that happens on this one is th this n on the bottom cancels out with one of the n's on the top. So you end up with 4m to the eighth n to the third. Like I said, this canceled out with one of these n's, and this becomes n to the third. Number 19. All right, on top I got m to the fourth times n squared, all of that to the fourth power over n cubed times n to the fourth. Let's take care of our numerator first. m to the fourth to the fourth is going to give me m to the sixteenth, and n to the second to the fourth is going to give me n to the eighth. All that all over top of... Okay, first I got to combine on the bottom. I've got n cubed times n to the fourth. I can add those exponents and I end up with n to the seventh. Now to clean this up, I end up on top with m to the sixteenth. All right, eight n the, with the n's, eight minus seven just is n to the first. It looks like that. I would. Guys, if you put a 1 on top of, if you put a 1 as an exponent, I will not mark it wrong. But probably the better way to do it is just leave it like that. m to the 16th times n. Number 20, last problem. All right, let's look at what we got going on here. We've got uv to the 4th to the 4th. Let's take care of that first. That becomes u to the 4th, v to the 16th times u times v to the second over top of 2u to the fourth. All right, let's combine on the top. We got u to the fourth times u. That's going to give us u to the fifth. And v to the sixteenth times v to the second, adding those exponents, we end up with v to the eighteenth. All of that over 2u to the fourth. All right. Final step is to subtract that. Obviously, the two is going to stay on the bottom. I end up with u to the fifth divided by u to the fourth. That's just going to leave us with u to the first, 
which I'll just write as u. And then I got v to the 18th divided by 1. I mean, there's no other v's on the bottom, so it's going to be v to the 18th. All right, uh, that's the uh, study guide work through. Please take the time to study this. I got a good feeling about this. Everybody was doing pretty well in class on Wednesday. Um, good luck, and uh, if you got any questions, come and see me before your test.